Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. And uh, yeah, we're on ooh, a collision course, basically. Wait, sorry dude, sorry. Okay, um, should have taken the back roads. Uh, yeah. Hi everybody, yes, uh, sorry Con here, and welcome back. Uh, to, we're here in Elm Creek. And uh, yeah, we need to return our harvester uh, from the last episode. I realized I'd left it you know, basically sitting on the last field we harvested. So today we've got a lot of things on the go. Uh, we've got some things to sell and we're going to take on a few more contracts because we've been over this. Yes, we've been over this. Money. I like money. And this also might be one of the last time. Well, I shouldn't say probably is. It's we're going to have likely less and less contracts to do because we're going to get busier and busier with our own farm. So besides the fact we need some money is we are going to take the advantage of these contracts because we're going to do some silage contracts and we are going to do some hay contracts because there's the possibility uh, that we'll get some animals uh, this season. And I wouldn't mind having uh, some of that on hand. In case we happen to get to that uh, before we have the ability to harvest that ourselves. So let's get this harvester back and let's get on with uh, some of these contracts. Well, and as you can see here, a uh, little bit of a psych. Uh, yeah, we've already taken one of the contracts and you might recognize one of the machines from a previous contract. So hint, hint, uh, I think that's what we're going to see right now. So you might have guessed it. Yes, we're back at field 71 because uh, we had this. Now, I'm going to show something I'm pretty sure I got wrong last time. It wasn't lowering the uh, the mowers here. There we go. But I think I had it on wide swath. So the fact that I actually had to come in and windrow it to get uh, the things in, in, in a swath so that I could put it in the baler. So here, if hit control Y on the keyboard, go from wide spreading, sorry there, past it to swath dropping. So I'm pretty confident, um, so confident, I swear I didn't take this back to my farm to try to test it on a little patch of grass. Uh, not that that would work because these are reserved for contract work, not my own farm. Yes, there we go. Oh my God, this is amazing. I so want this mower. This. This is very tempting to get, uh, even though I have my own equipment and the fact that, you know, we, I don't really need it and it's only got really one purpose, but technically it's two because it eliminates the need for the wind rower if you're making silage. That is pretty, pretty nice. So, um, gotta admit, this has got a, a very, you know, very good use here and I could get used to this now and I just love the fact that it goes 25 kilometers per hour just absolutely booking it it's amazing and the tight turn radius we've been over this loving it so we're gonna turn this one on to a worker as soon as we make sure that this is straighter than I actually had it coming down so we'll turn it on to a worker should be fine. Just keep an eye on it. Yeah, my dude. You're killing it. Loving it. And now we're going to come in. I don't think I can catch this up on the follow me module here, the mod that I have. So we've already unfolded it at the pickup is lowered. We will turn on the baler. But what we're going to do is have the baler follow the mower now as soon as it makes the turn because it's not going to catch up otherwise but hopefully this works it should work and once we get this set up and have the workers take care of this field because gotta admit it's great profit margin here uh there we go turn the baler on oh what Stuff happened. Thought we were on.
Okay, can we catch up? What's? Hang on. Whoa. And this is on camera, too. It's terrible news here. Oh, it's probably the bail size. I didn't catch that. So we'll back this up. Do we need to change the bail size? Okay. Uh, bailer is unfolded. The yeah, it's reserved for contract work. I get it. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, uh, let's check how big a wrapper can actually wrap bales. So the biggest that this can wrap is 20, 220 centimeters. Just had a quick look. So once again, we're going to try to line this up. Turn him on. I believe it's right control F. Turn the bailer on. Come on, dude. We can do this. Let's work together. And it doesn't want to follow. Might not be able to keep up. Uh oh, do we have a problem here, Houston? Let's have a look into this, because we might even have the wrong, uh... No, it's not a round baler. Oh, this is, a. Uh... Oh, let me double check this. So this is the bale wrapper in question, and as you can see, it does both round bales and uh, rectangular bales. And I'll wrap both. That's pretty nice, I'm loving it. So I can't get the follow me thing to work, so we're gonna get on to the other contracts and we'll pop back over to this field in a moment. Okay, so we're at field 18, I believe it is. Oh, and the front one is not on. Are we on? There we go, we're on now. We're all good. So this is to do hay, this field and one more. We're gonna set this onto a worker and we'll come back and we'll try to get as much done in this episode as we can, but I think we're not gonna to try to squeeze the entire operations in uh, this episode, but we have some other things to do besides these contracts today. So, but so let's get everything set up and running. So that is now on a worker. This shan't take too long. Now what I'm going to do, as soon as we make sure everything is fine with Mr. Rucker here. Hey dude. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. He's going to turn himself around. And then I think what we're going to do is we can get our... I, I, hey, that was him, man. Even though he's under my... Yeah, okay, I probably have to pay for that. He's technically in a contract with me, I guess, so... But uh, it wasn't my bad driving this time. But I guess I inspire others to drive badly. So, you know, what are you gonna do? So let's come in and we will grab our wind rower. So we have that. We will now just wait for our worker to finish coming down. We'll get things spooled up here. We'll probably have to get this little missed patch of grass here. But yeah, so they're going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop here. As we get this all nice and windrowed. Come on, man. Oh, I could have made it. I could have made it. I was thinking about going. Still thinking about going. Come on, man. Okay. This isn't the other mower, which is so much better. Whoa, come on. So as you can see here, this is the disadvantage of this mowing setup. 
we need a, either two workers or, well, we need at least, it's double the effort to get to this point with the wind rowing. So that other mower, I am so tempted. I think that would be a nice piece of equipment. Now, I do think there are some other attachments that you can uh, put on a tractor besides these two that will do a very similar sort of, similar, similar effect. But that's not what we have uh, with us. So it's not too bad here. I like, you know, it's not a bad setup. We, we don't have any fields ourselves for this, but we're going to have to buy one. That's for sure. Okay, so, uh, no, I think we can do a, a loop here while he's doing his thing. We'll do ours. And this is the advantage of doing the work ourselves. You can see how fast we can turn around and just book it. Let's make sure we grab yeah, those little bits. Have to get a little further over to the right. I think we still missed enough that that's going to be annoying. Oh, well. See, we're always well, kind of catching up. It's kind of catching up. But okay, so we're going to stop here. And we're going to hop back over to uh, Field 71. So we are on our baler. As, well, as you can see. Uh... You know what? And this is a nice baler, though it doesn't do the bale wrap. I'm a much bigger fan of these rectangular bales compared to the round bales. Because they stack much nicer. Uh, I would probably have an easier time putting them onto a trailer. Now, we do happen to have a nice auto loading trail that came with tra trailer that came with this contract. And of course, what is nice, this is a lot faster. Um, well, in the sense of, okay, let's do a comparison here. So this mower that's on this field here, this wonderful fellow, oh man, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, as we kind of drift, Tokyo drift here, or Elm Creek drift. So that is basically a two-in-one machine. It does the mowing and does the wind rowing. Um, it's all one swath, basically. Really nice. Where this baler wrapper is a two-piece combo. So what you gain in speed here by going much faster, you do lose some of the efficiencies by it all being in one machine and not needing to come back. Although... I haven't used the, the square wrapper, which I think we'll grab here and just try it. Because I think that's important. But, you know, wrapping it, I've never found the wrapping to be that hard. Unless you're talking about, you know, wrapping presents for Christmas. That's, yeah, I'm not good at that. Let's give this a whirl. Okay. So this is a slightly larger wrapper, and I, at least from what I can uh, remember from the other one, or the other single implement wrappers. It does a pretty good and quick job, I, I must say. So this, I'm thinking this is a fairly efficient mowing system. As you can see, that mower is just killing it. There hasn't been much time in between uh, these two shots here. And I mean that in the sense that you know, no real time jump cuts yet. Although we will, because doing this um, in real time, uh, it's it's going to take it's going to take some time. So, and I don't want this to be a very long and boring episode of just doing same things again, but it's cool to play with new equipment. Although that mower, yeah, we've used that before. Love it. Okay, so let's get on with checking on how other things are going. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to hop in and do a 
couple of things that we need to deal with elsewhere in the farm. So we're just f looking at here that tractor with the mowing equipment has just finished uh, things up in terms of you know his work on this field. Got the worker here on doing the wind rowing. We'll let this worker finish up and we will get that tractor cutting the grass on the other contract we have up here for doing hay as well. So let's get him started over there. Well, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can be a tad cheeky. I don't think totally cheeky because I think this bit of grass here is part of the field and the worker just wasn't able to grab it. So we'll also cut some on the edge, which we should be able to windrow in to collect. See if we can just make a tad bit more money because we've been over this. Money, money is good. Now, in real life, if this wasn't our property or we really had to expend gas or without the permission of the owner, you know, wouldn't do this, but hey, I won't tell anybody if you won't tell anybody. Okay, so we've got that there. Let's double check as we kind of just have things parked in the middle. Yeah, field 14. And I believe field 14. Oh, it's the one. Where are we? Oh, yeah, this one right here. So we can turn that on and we can take care of this little swath of land. Now we'll do this one ourselves because it is so small, it's really not worth it to put it on a worker. But as you can see, so many great little fields up here. Nice, quick and easy to do. You know, as I mentioned uh, last episode, fellow YouTuber and farming simulator fanatic, uh, Tour Code, actually has a series going up here. Uh, and he's done some cool things with these fields. So if you want to know what you could potentially do if you buy these fields, check him out and tell him we say hi. Um, and tell him he owes us some money. Oh, no, no. It's, that's not Tour Code. His, his farm looks completely different now. And he's having a ball up here. So... But do say hi if you do go and check out his uh, channel. So you can see, nice, quick, and easy. Uh, oh, missed this little bit. Oh, we're going to have to do another up and down anyways. Because I misjudged things, potentially. But this is much more efficient than previous attempts. Or previous, not attempts, we've done contracts up here, so. But it's nice and quick and easy. Love these fields. We'll just get this little patch. And then what we'll do is we'll get this tractor back to the farm. And we'll need to make sure we bring our tether up. So that's what this guy will be doing while we're doing some other jobs around the farm. So one of the chores I thought we'd around the farm was to basically get rid of this grass. Now, once I got into the tractor, realized I have like one 500 liter bale of grass and a lot of hay. So we didn't necessarily even need to take on those hay contracts because, hey, hey, um, yeah, we've, we've got some hay. So that's not very helpful to us at this point. So what we're going to do is well it's helpful in the long run but i want to sell the eggs because they're at a decent price at least last time i looked so we're going to unload this here just make sure we have it tip side right please and then we can unload it there we go thanks very much wheel ourselves around And see things are going well here at the farm whoa whoa almost hit our canola field but we will come along here and 
just load things up. Just make sure we have it on auto load. This should do it. Nope. There we go. We got it on eggs now. There we go. Nice. Oh, we'll just have to do a loop around. Now, I was also thinking of cutting this grass, which I think we'll do. Because when, once we get something like sheep, that'll be beneficial. So let's just have a look, see where's the best price for our eggs here at this point. As you can see, we're in June. So there's a dip and that comes back up in November, but we're going to get a bunch more. And the best price right now here is at the bakery, which have we been to? Okay, let's head to the bakery. Um, don't think we've been there, but this is a nice, good money. Now, I am hoping next episode, we'll see. I would love to buy a new harvester. So just trying to make sure we've got plenty of money on the farm uh, to minimize the need for a loan or a sizable loan. And since eggs are at a decent price right now, we'll sell them. Uh, because it's another, what, six months? Five, six months before uh, they're a good price again. So I don't think we've been to this bakery. We've obviously driven past it a bazillion times. Yeah, no, we have not been here. It's something, oh, it's something we can buy, obviously, from a production point of view. Is that a uh, collectible there? Let's just see how much money we made and then we'll run around this building and just check for a collectible. Maybe. Hello? Sell? That's weird. Oh, because these got back on somehow. Maybe. Hmm, that's a whole lot of weirdness. In fact, I can't even see the... Won't even let me grab these. This is weird. I'll grab that collectible. Okay, let's see if we reposition ourselves on the trigger. Actually, this is a... Ooh. Maybe that wasn't the best of ideas. Oh, there's no more capacity. Oh. Oh, okay. So let's see where else we can sell these. Uh, I didn't see the message, I guess. So the fast food restaurant. Okay. Well, we need to head back. Ooh. Okay. Um, we'll make it through. Uh, so a few things might need a paint job, um, but uh, nobody can prove anything that uh, what might have happened. But look at this money just rolling in. I think we have 20 some thousand dollars. And that's another 28.6. So, not bad. Not bad. Plus a collectible. I, I could get used to this, which is actually why we have two chicken coops. So, 100% the reason why we're going to get used to this. We just come in, we will park this. Uh, we'll put it back where we got it. I think we'll have one other chore here, but let's just jump in and do some uh, quick bailing and wrapping.
Okay, so you can see a bit of challenges when I'm trying to get a little cheeky with the uh, camera angle. And definitely doing a little Elm Creek Drift. Yes, that is a thing now. And I'm not sure where dude was going because I didn't change my court. Well, I guess I did a wiggle. So I guess the wiggle messed him up. So for part of this, the follow me mod is working. But at times, things just get slightly out of alignment. Now, it took me a little bit just to get things lined up in terms of the follow me app. Because I just went, hey, let's just throw the follow me app, con right control F, and away we go. But you actually, in the case of this, where you have the wrapper, uh, you need to offset it. So as you can see here, a little offset to my left. So you just need to make sure you've got that set up. And you can see he is grabbing the bail, no problem here. So sometimes a little bit of issue, sometimes not. But overall, pretty good, unlike my driving skills. So we might come back and get the bits and bobs. We'll really see. I likely won't do that on camera, but we're not doing that this episode. In fact, we're not even gonna finish um, bailing everything this particular episode here. But what we're going to do is we are going to make sure we leave ourselves in a good position for next time because current Sargon is going to be nice to future Sargon. Otherwise, future Sargon is going to be really upset at lazy past Sargon. And by that, as you can see, we've just got things lined up here. Uh, well, kind of. Oh, we're drifting. The Elm Creek drift is a thing. Oh, we drifted all the way. This is terrible news. Current Sargon's upset with current Sargon, so. But we're going to stop this one here. And that's simply because I didn't want to stop at either end. So we have, I think, one more chore left that I want to take care of. But before we do that, we'll just have a little check in on what's going on at, at the other fields. Oh, you know what? Current Sargon is really upset at parse, past Sargon. And we might not be able to fix this. So let's go and see if we can come in with our tether. Hmm. Okay, so thankfully, uh, we, we can fix an error we did here. Um, yeah, uh... You can probably tell where I made a mistake, but thankfully we're able to solve it because we didn't do any bailing yet. If we would have bailed this, this would have been Benzo. So, but thankfully we can fix it. Now it's actually mostly keeping it in the uh, swaths that we did, but we'll have to come back with the wind rower and solve our problem and fix it up so we can easily bail it as well. Do a little turn. Can we get... Uh, can we get both? Ooh, we can be cheeky. Yeah, I don't know. Well, pretty sure this probably wouldn't really work as intended in real life. And as you can see, we are missing bits. So if we stay on course, we should be okay here. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. I, I think we're fine here. So we can fix this problem. I'm glad we I caught this here. Did one last check, because I might not have caught this at the beginning of the next episode. So that would have been just a tad frustrating. So, well, this is already frustrating, but you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. So let's just get this done. I think we'll leave it here and we will pick up our, I think, our one chore that we at least have to check on next episode. We will get this problem solved and we will finish the bailing and wrapping of our silage as well and maybe start a harvest. So thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now.